The passenger vehicle segment managed to record a healthy double digit growth of nearly 27% in 2021 despite several headwinds like the semiconductor shortage issue and partial lockdown during the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the sales data published by the Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers, sales between January and December 2021 stood at 30,82,000 units as compared to 24,33,000 units sold in 2020. The passenger car segment recorded a growth of 7.7%, selling 15,44,000 units as compared to 14,32,000 units sold over a year ago. The utility vehicle segment comprising SUVs and MPVs remained at the helm, recording a whopping growth of over 58% with 14,20,000 units sold as compared to 8,97,000 units sold in 2020. Even the van segment recorded an uptick of 15% selling 1,19,242 units as against 1,03,754 units sold over a year ago. That said, 2020 was a low-volume base year owing to a three-month nationwide lockdown and that should also be taken into account. Bengaluru-based electric two-wheeler startup Simple Energy has announced that deliveries of its electric scooter Simple One will commence from June 2022. The Simple One electric scooter was launched in August last year at a price of 1,10,000 rupees ex showroom. The model witnessed a rush in pre-bookings with over 30,000 orders to date. The Simple One is still available for pre-bookings on the company's website for a token of 1,947 rupees. According to the company, it decided to improve the electric scooter further before commencing deliveries of the same. The Simple One gets a 4.8 kWh lithium-ion battery pack, offering a claimed range of 236 km on a single charge. It offers a real-world range of 203 km in eco mode, according to the company. Top speed is claimed at 105 km per hour, with the 4.5 kW motor developing 72 Nm of peak torque. The Simple One will compete against a number of offerings including the Aether 450X, Ola S1 Pro, Bajaj Chetak, among others. Kia India has begun accepting pre-bookings for the Karen's 3-row MPV. Prospective customers can book the model for an initial token amount of 25,000 rupees. The 7-seater Kia Karen's made its global debut in December last year and will rival the Hyundai Alcazar, Tata Safari, MG Hector Plus, Toyota Innova Crysta and the Mahindra XUV 700. The South Korean car maker also revealed that the Karens will be exported to 90 countries, including both left and right hand drive markets. The MPV is offered with both petrol and diesel engine options and will be offered in 5 trims Premium, Prestige, Prestige Plus, Luxury, and Luxury Plus. Transmission choices will include one manual and two automatic gearbox options. The Kia Karen shares its underpinnings with the Seltos, but will cater to a different customer base. It also promises to be more feature-loaded with a Bose sound system, air purifier, ventilated seats, sunroof and more. The Kia Karens will go on sale in India around February this year. We simply love, love, love hearing from you. So your comments and feedback are important. Subscribe to our channel, react to this video and of course, Watch our other videos too.